Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Singh Speaks. This is the last video of this EO on my channel and hence the last podcast series of episode number 4, Reflections from EO 2020. Within few hours, the new year begins and as 2020 draws down its curtains, let us reflect on what the year distilled into our lives. First and foremost, of course, the pandemic that enveloped the year, putting a break on all of our lives. The year 2020 has been really heavy on all of us, all the generations of the people. It was an anxious, petrifying and miserable year. Most of the chapters of this year were shadowed by gloom. The year of fallen hopes, shattered dreams and uncertain goodbyes. The year we realized that even the most beautiful journeys can have sudden and abrupt endings. The year of devastation and misery. But apart from all this, we should leave out the lessons from these chapters. And one major lesson this year taught us was to learn to live in minimal conditions, declutter and throw out the garbage piled on. As travel and social meets were restricted, we learned to keep all the extravagant expenses at bay. 2020 taught us the fragility of life and impermanence of everything knitted with life. The joy of enjoying each other's moment, the values of nurturing relationships and peeping beyond the tech terrain were some other takeaways of this year. Social media was inundated with cooking, photography, gardening and other skills. It taught every one of us that no matter how much we run for growth, money and fame, your home, your family is the only hope for keeping you out of all the negativities. It taught us to hold on and have a constant hope to come out of odd situations. This year taught us that self-love is the utmost and that forever is an illusion and every day can be quite different from the other. It taught us how beautiful a family time and bonding can be. And one of the biggest things that 2020 taught us is we plan but God decides. But as we transcend to 2021 with hope for recovery, let us continue to exhale the compassion and love that we have gathered over the last 12 months. We never have to regret anything or feel bad about some bad decisions. But recalling every lesson makes us what we'll be becoming in the upcoming year. Carrying the legacy of forgiveness and happiness in the upcoming year will bring you all peace. Whatever is gone is lost forever. But what we'll cultivate will be your further life. Do what your heart says and not what your ego doesn't allow you to do. Your happiness is at most important than anything. So just transition into the ear gently. There's no need to rush or force it. Give yourself time to try it on, see what fits and leave a little room for movement since amazing things need room to grow, isn't it? These are some of the things that I am leaving behind in 2020. What are your things you want to leave behind? Let me know in the comment section below. Learn from yesterday, live for today and hope for tomorrow. With all said and done, let us step into a new year with hope in our hearts. And I, Shreshti Singh, wish you all for a happy, healthy and a prosperous year. Happy New Year!